systems activating. Hello, Rania aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, we take a look at the new Esperia Prowler, as you can see here, sat behind me. Uh, this was granted by CIG, so a big thank you to them. Uh, we do have one to give away when 3.9 hits the live server, so let's try and do this before the sun goes down. But here she is. This is the first Taveran ship that we've had in game, and it does look very impressive. Very boss like. It's not really a full on let's take a look at the stats and everything because uh, this is more of just a first look and a bit of a test flight as well. We'll give it a bit of a fly around and I'll let you know what my thoughts are on it. But we shall take a look around and check it out. So these haven't deployed. Oh no, they have deployed. So when it's landed, they kind of act as, um, as a bit of a guard. So when you're deploying the troops out of the doors, we'll try and give that a go actually today. See if we can jump out and fight. Unfortunately, the sun's going down pretty fast. Nice place here on Microtech though that I found. Kind of like a plateau on top of a, a mountainside. But it does have a uh, size 4 turrets. Or two size 4 weapons on the turrets. And then two size 5 cannons here. These are the new Esperia cannons that are new to 3.9. Try and get up on this rock. There we go. But I think styling-wise, it is probably the sexiest ship we have in-game. Definitely looks cool. And from what I found about flying it, as I say, I'll do more of an in-depth review of the flight in a, in a bit. But the um, it handles quite well, but it's very slow. It doesn't really give you much speed to deal with, considering you're going to be doing quite hot drops, I expect. Uh, but let's just take a close look. Nicely sheltered from the wind around this side. So these are the, the nice Gravlev um, sort of hover tech that they use. Allows the ship to scoot along the ground easily. And then these are the four doors that when opened, they allow uh, the player to deploy quickly. Can we have a look inside? Looks nice against this backdrop. Although I'm sure it'll look even better in maybe a an alien world so to enter you've got two options this is the first option which is a little handle bit on the side here that deploys the rear rear ramp and I think the other one is up here somewhere or is it on the other side no that's it isn't it yeah so that's um, that's a ladder access as well with their unusual ladder styling they still don't work as uh, they still work just as badly as human ladders but we'll enter through the, the back area. And I think this is where the drop pods are. Yeah. So you can see we've got um, one, two, three, four on one side. And then another four on the other side. And if you get inside one of these seats, although I don't know if this suit works well with this seat you can see you sit here and then I think your weapon um, let me just see if I can put my weapon in there can brilliant okay let's make this happen so as it's coming in you sort of get dropped off there should be air shields on I've turned the power off but as soon as you get dropped off you kind of deploy out of this thing or you get ready to deploy and then you grab your weapon and you jump out. I'm to expect it'll be a bit quicker than that on the day. That was just a test run. But no, I think that's quite an effective method of getting out and getting into the action as quick as possible. As well as having, you know, I don't know how decent that, that's going to provide protection. It'll be worth checking out when we, uh, we actually give it a go in that regard. But you can hold eight troops in the back. And then, yeah, I think you have room for another four here. Yeah, so another four there with the co-pilot seat, which can actually fly the ship. Um, 
if nobody's sat in the top one. I think it's first come, first serve, but I could be wrong. And then that's where you can get out. Now, to get upstairs or to get up the ladder, you go up here. And this gives you the pilot seat along with all the areas where the components are going to be stored. So that's the cooler. Is there the same this side? Yeah, so two coolers there. Um, that's like a quantum drive and a power plant, or maybe the other way around. And I don't think they've fitted everything. That's the shield generators, two shield generators. I think they did say they're still trying to work out where to put everything else. But this is a kind of a, a nice cool space. Let's just turn the lighting on. A cool space for the pilot to come behind and uh, interact with the components if need be. So we have the really cool shielding um, visor, which I don't know if EMP, if it'll close. If I put the power on, it'll remove that. Systems activating. Systems on. And obviously they can't actually see you inside. Got a 600i over there. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so they can't see inside, but you can see out. But if you get EMP'd, I hope that the power doesn't go off um, and that happens because then you're just blind. Hopefully they'll have some sort of fail safe to help protect against that. But that's something to test and it's something that may get updated uh, as time goes on. But this is with the lighting on, which I just, I really love this style. It's not to everyone's taste, but how they recreate the sun coming through a canopy is such a clever idea um, for the fact that Taveran are kind of bird-like and, it, you know, the red makes them feel comfortable and all that lore behind it all. You can see out there. And then all the lights in here. It's probably worth it, though, if when, when we eventually get lighting states. Oh, there's the shield tech. Uh, to actually turn off the lights in the back here so that when these doors open or these shield, like, drop doors open, it doesn't reveal the uh, the people inside too obviously. Because, to me, that light is a big giveaway if you're deploying at night for a stealth uh, drop ship. So, yeah, hopefully having the option to turn the lights off uh, as a separate state will um, will make it a lot easier forgot to take a screenshot for my thumbnail. Uh, I was hoping to do it before... Yeah, never mind. I'll figure another one out before the lights went out. But let's just give her a fly around. Let me get into the ship this way. And I'll just share my thoughts on that, on how it handles. Remember though, as, as I did say, it's all a work in progress in terms of balance. Um... Maneuverability, turning ability, all that sort of stuff. So it's it's still a work in progress. And I'm sure that if this ship doesn't feel like it's up to the standard that it needs to be, then they will make it so. But personally, at the moment, it does feel a little too slow when hovering around in uh, in atmosphere. It's You want to be able to drop quite quick, I'd say. Anyway, let's get in. Alright, let me get the engines on. Engines up. It sounds pretty damn cool. And I do like the lighting effect from the grav levs. So we'll go first person for this. Alert. Rear crash. Close. Landing. Complete. And if we, if you have a look, you've got sort of two states here. So you've got your landing gear, which. Oh, and you can press J as well. I think you can just do either or. So J is sort of for VTOLs. Ah, okay. So yeah, your VTOL, you can't press VTOL while you've got your landing gear down. But if I press N, it'll bring the landing gear up. And then you press J and it'll fold it up. If you... Leave it down, it stays spiked like so, but really to protect people. Oh no, that's to protect them, isn't it? As you as a hot drop, and then when you land, it'll deploy as so. Interesting. But that is the deployable state where you've got this fanned out um, shielding really for, for your troops. But then if you want to start flying faster, 
you got to change it up. So that's the top turret. With... Hang on a minute, where is he? He's down there, okay. With the two size fours, I believe. Don't quote me on that. And then you get your two size fives under the wings, which are absolute beasts of a gun. Be amazing to see what it's capable of. So let's just get to somewhere where it's a bit brighter uh, and I can show you more. Your ring is quite all right. It's it does actually change direction pretty or pretty quickly. Obviously, with a bit of boost, you can get there much faster. So maneuvering in in atmosphere isn't all that bad for such a large and usually shaped ship. The roll quite steady nothing too fancy and there is a bit of an over overshoot with it being uh, sort of not a large ship but larger than um, something like the Vanguard it is quite responsive for what it is um, I think it really excels in turning But again, it's slow, so you expect it to be able to turn pretty well at these speeds. So in atmosphere, we're looking at, well, atmosphere of uh, Microtech at about a thousand and a half feet or meters off the ground. It's about 170. Nothing too impressive when you consider you wanting to be dropping people off in a, in a danger zone. Oh, Christ. But I think with someone, uh, your co-pilot helping on the turret, you using the main guns at the front and then having a crew to deploy, I can see it being quite effective. I just think the speed of it will make it too too obvious uh, and not able to get in quickly and do its job and then get out again. But it is a stealth dropship, so I guess is it supposed to be seen? I don't really know. As I say, I'm sure there'll be more balancing as time goes on. Let's try and go somewhere a bit brighter. Something I will say, though, is how cool this controller scheme is. Whether it would work in the real world, I don't know. But that's yawing. And you've got your roll and your pitch. And then you've got them all sort of combined. It really is very unique. Uh, and I think it's a cool style. But as I say, would it work in real world? I don't know, maybe. But I just want to kind of come down as fast as I can, drop you know, drop down without destroying pieces off the ship. That's something I don't really like about it, is that when you are in this mode, sort of VTOL drop-off mode, the rear um, wing, the rear, rear tail, and these thrusters they're just so they seem so flimsy that when you hit down with any speed it destroys them so you've really got to touch down carefully i wish they would have a bit of a suspension considering that you are going to be coming in quite quick um and dropping people off so you want it to be hit. maybe you're not even supposed to land i guess let's try and do it on this plateau here And obviously, when you do lower them, because your thrusters are no longer pointing backwards, you're so much slower, which I guess might work okay if you're dropping people off. But I suppose come in fast with your thrusters, allowing you to move forwards quicker. And then maybe slow it down with the thrusters. I don't know. Should we try this in third person? Try and drop them off on here and then keep moving. This can only go wrong. So keep it going. Let them drop out. Maybe not that fast. Let them drop out. And then we move. That's the way I see it working. Get to a reasonable speed. Oh, without killing your thrusters. Gotta get to a reasonable speed so that they're not gonna jump out and instantly all die. That's not what you wanna happen. Something I think we can test out. But I can see that. Let's try that again in first person, see how it goes. Immersion and all. So I kinda keep the um 
cruise mode going where I don't have to touch it and let until we get into uh, deploy time. Because you can have your, you know, your people firing the th turrets while they're landing, your co-pilot. So it's kind of... Let's try this again. So we want to drop them here. Let them drop out at maybe 30 and then get out of there. without killing the engines. Maybe we need better coolers to get out of there. Yeah, I can see this working. Maybe. Maybe not with me as the pilot. But no, as it goes, nice ship, a bit slow. Will it have a use over something like the Valkyrie? Probably, because the Valkyrie is... No, actually, I don't know. I suppose this benefit of this ship is more that it's a stealth ship, and that is where this is supposed to come in handy, so... You can get in and get out without being seen. Whereas the Valkyrie is just pure deployment of as many troops as possible. Um, and vehicles. A couple of vehicles, maybe. Or an Ursa or a Cyclone. This is all troops. Quietly, secretively getting deployed. Oh, but it's strafing up and down. It's pretty quick. Um... You could sort of scoot around at this speed. And strafe around. Maybe use it as a way to veer off. Dunno. Clutching at straws here. Anyway, screw it. This is the Prowler. This is just the first look, as I say. I will do a more in-depth look. Including all its components and everything it has to offer. Oof. But for now, I hope you enjoy that. If you do enjoy my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have got a lot more coming out for 3.9 um, and gameplay as well. Starting to bring that to the channel and a new buyer's guide as well, which is I'm um, really looking forward to. Uh, thank you all so much for the support. Be sure to hit that like button if you're excited for the Prowler. And we will have a giveaway once it goes to the live servers. Thank you to my patrons and channel members for allowing me to do what I do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.